A lot of us have been waiting for gyms to open back up, and now that's going to happen. Team 12's Rachel Cole joins us with how facilities plan to keep customers safe when the doors reopen. Rachel. Hey there, good news for any of you hoping to take a dip during the quarantine and uplifting news for those of us ready to get back in the gym as soon as possible. So thrilled and excited. I work out like five to six days a week usually. Active people like Kendall and Drew ready to get back in the saddle. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, four or five times a week. Drew, joking about being jacked, says it's been great making the most out of area parks and outdoor workouts, but likes a climate-controlled and sanitary environment. That'll soon be a reality as Mountainside Fitness and other gyms get ready to reopen in the coming days. Can you imagine your favorite Christmas of your whole life when you wanted that toy and you got it? That was today at 3 o'clock. Tom Hatton, CEO of Mountainside, says even with the green light from the governor, they're using the next several days to ensure the safety of both the staff and those looking to sweat. A lot more intensity with cleaning. We'll be taking temperatures of all of our employees before shifts. While things may look different, don't be fooled. Hatton says facilities will offer the same services with added safety measures. We're going to be able to do everything that we did do. We are going to practice social distancing as the governor uh, mandated. We're looking around at all the people, lively at all the restaurants and the bars, and we're just saying we're so excited for the weekend to get back out with the people and socialize. And with restaurants reopening, Kendall and Drew don't plan on skipping leg day. We're ready. So whether it's taking the plunge into a public pool or pumping some iron in the gym, both will be options to residents in just a matter of hours. In Scottsdale, Rachel Cole, 12 News.